and your mind's like elsewhere you know mm -hmm. what I mean? um and for me i didn't find it as that big of a like a, i mean obviously it's a big deal but i didn't think it was going to be like a make or break so when she's an like a bb moment which is like a beautiful black moment did we get any of those in this episode black we have a chaotic vibe moment of the chaotic vibe moment Hi, baddies, or if you're a new viewer, hello. This is the Black Body Reality channel. And before we get into our Love is Blind interview, I wanted to give a spoiler alert. We talk about the whole season, including episode 10, which are the weddings. So if you haven't watched the episode, pause, put it on your watch list, watch it, and come back. Thank you so much for enjoying this Love is Blind season with us. And that's all. So hi, Izzy. I'm Nicole Weaver from the Black Bi Reality Podcast. How are you doing today? I'm great. How about yourself? Good, good. Very excited to talk to you. I think the first question I have, because it's really the apartments that we get a glimpse of what your guys' life was like before the show. And we saw the lost and found. So I, my question is, when was the last time you saw one of the like lost and found girls before the show? Oh man, it's been a while. Uh, oh, but one of the last we ran into him. Uh, Houston is you know a big but small city, yeah. so I ran into a few. Uh, I'm very good friends with all of them, so <laughs> yeah, it, it, you'll run into each other every once yeah. in a while from here. All right. Uh, getting into the pods now, we know you are a very popular guy, Lydia, Stacy, and Johnny being the ones who are interested in you. It did come down to just two women, but I'm curious, how many days in or left in the pods was it that you made the judgment call of like, mm, I'm not going to pursue things any further with Lydia? Um, I want to say that was about like day four, day okay. four. Yeah. Because okay. at that point, it's just like, it's hard to kind of maintain, you know, every like remember things from every girl. Um, and then obviously I can just see it's like I had the strong connections to other places. There's no reason to leave her on, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that makes sense. Um, so the big thing that everyone is basically talking about when it comes to your relationship with Stacy is the finances, because it was already undercurrent before, and then we get that big, uh, shocking scene at the end. Um, my question is, you know, what made you, so it seemed like you talked a little bit about finances in the pods with Johnny from mm -hmm. her little comment. So what was the difference there that you wanted the conversation to be different with Stacey? Um, I want it to be different in the sense of we're going to like sit down and literally list everything out, um, mm -hmm. which I figure you can't do in five minutes, you mm -hmm. know, just like a nonchalant conversation. It was more so hey we're gonna get married let's write this out on paper and figure out what we're gonna do like as far as like uh, bank accounts and how much we make and 401k and the savings and all that stuff and I just felt like we never had that chance because we're filming and especially for like for me I, like, we went back to work once we got home so it's like working eight to five and it's like boom you got to be here to film here or film there and by the time it's the end of the day it's like, you know, midnight or one, I got to go to work the next day and I'm exhausted. So we just like hadn't had that conversation. Your mind's like elsewhere, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, and for me, I didn't find it as that big of a, like, a, I mean, obviously it's a big deal, but I didn't think it was going to be like a make or break mm -hmm. uh, um, kind of scenario. So yeah, that's kind of where I was with that. Yeah. Do you have any regrets not making it more of a priority now? Uh, I mean, yeah, of course I should have probably brought it up sooner, but Again, like I said, I didn't think it was going to be like that huge of a, of a like, like a deal. Yeah. Yeah. So Stacy said in one interview that it actually wasn't just the finances. You guys had like a conversation about multiple things. And she said she found out multiple things um, on your end. Like what was the other things that were like so important to her that she was like, oh, I want more time. Uh, I don't really know much about uh, if she found out other more things. Um, the only, like, our dogs wouldn't get along. That was, like, a big issue. Um, yeah. yeah. And so, like, even with that, it's hard. Like, with filming, um, I don't have time to 
try to find a trainer or, you know, something, you know what I mean? So like, that was an issue as far as other things. I'm not sure what um, you mean by that. She was very vague. <laughs> so that's why I was like, maybe I'll ask. It was, it was like little things like that. Like, you know, our dogs like didn't get along. Um, we don't see our dog, do we? We only see Tux. Yeah, I actually have two dogs there. Yeah, you'll see. There's like a quick glimpse of one of them. Uh, but I have a boy and a girl. Okay, so, nice. Yeah. If you go look at my story on Instagram, you'll actually see there's a picture of us uh, there with our dogs. I'll definitely so. have to look. Um, so people noticed that you had kind of a trend of you really wanted communication with people, which could totally be good. Um, one of it is that you wanted to talk to Lydia, like that kind of closure talk in Mexico, even though Lydia seemed like she was trying to chime in and be like, oh, I'm good. And then kind of like the same thing with Johnny, you were like pressing up, well, I want to give you this advice. And she was like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> and you like continued. So can you talk about what was your like mentality of like really wanting that kind of like communication with them? Um, I just like to be very transparent with anybody and I don't want them to be transparent with me, you know, and that's just how I am. Uh, I'm a big communicator. Um, uh, and that's, you know, just what I wanted to do, just kind of throw it all out there and yeah, either resolve it, move on from it, you know, um, and that's just how I am. Even like till today, mm -hmm. like you know, in my friendships, relationships, like I always want people to be honest and open like don't hold back because I think a lot of people they tend to do that and like bottle things up but I think it's like I think it's amazing when you can be vulnerable and just kind of let everything out you know yeah I think um okay so with your confrontation with Johnny we see some of the things that Johnny said but we don't know what you were told um yeah. so I'm going to say specifically, because on our side, when we're covering it, when she said the thing about the credit, me and my podcast host were like, Johnny, like it's a, it's a low blow. So I was kind of wondering, did that ever get back to you? Was that ever in yeah. your mind? Yeah. So like that, what y'all said with that, like when that was caught on camera and like being told that, you know, obviously that's upsetting. Um, and then like the Chris situation, you know, him te her telling him one thing and then telling me the other. And then she was talking about Stacy. Um, when like through the whole time Stacy didn't do anything to her. Um, and then to come to find out, like she was really bashing Stacy, saying that, you know, she's gonna be disappointed. I'm gonna be disappointed when I see Stacy because she's not attractive. And she was like going on her physical appearance and so and you know, like saying she was, you know um just deceitful and things like that so it's just like there's so many things that you're like doing and it, I don't know it just wasn't cool I, I regret how I came about it and told her um but like at the end of the day like I was still upset for what, what you're saying you know I think um did you ever think of or did you because this show is edited we don't know did you actually mention those um specific points because I that's the frustration as a viewer to watch it mm -hmm. like, for me I was like Izzy does kind of have a point like I know why he's frustrated but he never explicitly says why did you say this x y and z it's just a nasty thing to say <laughs> yeah um at that point I mean I wouldn't even have had the conversation with Johnny I had to have that conversation with Johnny like right. right, on, on the show so if it were up to me I wouldn't even have talked to her I was already moved on and fine but they're like all right we have to talk to Johnny so I'm like all right. Um, and at that point, obviously, I'd already been drinking, you know, through the whole party. And it just kind of like, just word vomited out. You know what I mean? Um, Makes sense. But when I met, like, where everyone thinks that is because we had, like, six, seven of the cast members, like, come and tell us these things. So I'm like, it's not just, you know, my, me, my opinion. It's a lot of people are being like, hey, this is what's happening. I wouldn't trust her. And this is what she's been saying while y'all are gone. So... That's where that came from. But again, I regret, you know, my delivery was disgusting, but the message I was trying to get across, like I don't regret calling her out on the truth. Got it. So uh, Stacy said that you journaled every day in the pods and you wrote something to her during that time and you were able to read that to reassure her. Were you doing that with like every person you were dating? No, with? like in the pods? Yeah. 
No, no, no. So what happened with that is after reveal day, I was a nervous wreck, I think, as anyone would be. And I was definitely very awkward. Um, usually I'm cool and chatty. And on that, like that day, I was just very nervous and like shy and quiet. Um, so I was like, crap, like I hope she doesn't think that like I'm not into her or anything like that. And I think that's what, what was on her mind. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to write you. So we had about, I want to say it was about three days before we actually flew out to Mexico. And so every single day while I'm just there in my room, I journaled her just to let her know like what was going through my mind. This is how I feel. I really do you know, love you and all that. So when I got there, um, we got to like sit in the hot tub and I read it all out to her to kind of like give her that reassurance. Yeah. That makes sense. I was confused about the time frame. So yeah. I didn't think I wanted to get to. You have real plates, Izzy. I do. <laughs> yeah. I so do. how did the whole scene come about that you obviously have probably a regular looking kitchen and yet somehow it becomes about these paper plates? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, Stacy's going through every drawer and every cabinet uh, and she brought it up and like was with the paper plates and that was where she's like, you know, I don't want to be served like on a paper plate kind of thing. And boom, that was it. It was something so minute that just like escalated in that moment. Yeah, yeah. But it was interesting. I'll say like, I, um, I don't know, I like getting into the deep of it. So I liked I saw both of your points, like one is like, shouldn't action really like be what counts you make a meal for someone. And hers is like, but if you really care, should it be the presentation? It was very interesting. And honestly, what I think is so interesting about you and Stacey's dynamic is that the very much the undercurrent of the whole thing is class. Mm -hmm. And we don't get, I mean, we do in like rom-coms get the class, but it's always the tidied up one, you know? <laughs> so yeah. I, I thought it was very real. And on top of that, you also have different cultures. You're Mexican. And like, we see, I think Lydia and Milton talk a little bit about their differences. Did you ever talk about that with Stacy? Um, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't really think that was a big deal as far as that. I think our, our, we knew our differences was I'm the more like vulnerable one and just open and she's a little bit more like to herself um, and hard to be vulnerable. So I would say those are our two differences. Yeah. Was there ever a moment where you thought mm, this might not work out and you actually considered saying I don't um, at the altar? No. Um, I think that I was looking at it as a perspective, like from the perspective as I know these hardships are going to come our way in such a short amount of time. Like if we're being realistic, no marriage is perfect. Um, so these things do happen. So in my head, I was like, buckle down. We're going to handle this. We're going to fix it and, and move forward. Um, it's nothing that's going to be like, that's the thing with people. When they run into issues in relationships, they generally just want to quit and give up. And I'm not that kind of person. I understand it's an issue. I try to find a solution. Let's fix it and move on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotcha. But there was um, a point where I was like, uh, I can't marry this girl. Like, Yeah. <laughs> you previously talked about uh Stacy sometimes having meltdowns you seem to be the more calming reassuring um presence in the relationship um we don't really get to see any of those so I was just wondering if you wanted to like talk a little bit more about that dynamic yeah, I mean, obviously, this whole process, it is, it's a lot. It's exhausting emotionally, physically, mentally. Um, so, you know, she would stress out, you know, about certain, you know, we have, we're planning a wedding at the same time, too, and like time management and all this stuff, and then emotions between us and like, you know, like the paper plate situation and, and you know, just kind of like, it's a buildup of so many scenarios that have happened through the show that you have those meltdowns. And sometimes they were like, usually they were off camera, you know? You know, it does happen like we were normal. And that's why I was in the closet, like that was my breakdown. Unfortunately, it was on camera, um, but like, yeah, it's hard when you have to like, I was trying to be there for her, handle my own emotions and I just cracked and lost it. Got it. My last question. So in the finale, while you're a little bit 
like heartbroken from Stacy's decision. You said, you know, maybe this is the reason she's 30 something and still single. Uh, do you stand by that perspective? Like, um, I think that was just, I was just upset in the moment. Stacy's an amazing girl. Uh, and you know, she deserves to be happy. And I, you know, she does want that happy ending. And yeah, I mean, I think at that point, I mean, if anyone's heartbroken from, from that, like, I, was, I was devastated. I was, you know, sad, upset. There's just so many different things. So at the end of the day, she's amazing. And yeah, she deserves love too. Uh, you recently said that you regretted something when it came to the choice part. And I was wondering if that was the moment or if you were talking about something else. Uh, I don't recall. Or I don't okay. know. <laughs> it's, fair. <laughs> it's fair. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right. Bye.